environment. Today's plan is to read about topic for web adaptations in animals and plants. So first of all, we'll do some brainstorming. Then reading of book pages 36 to 39. Uh, we'll explain some important parts of the lesson and then do some notebook work, which is question number one, answer the following questions from E to F. Question number three, match the animals to their adaptations. Design on your book page number. 41 then recap and after that quiz so let's get started students don't forget to follow the rules rules will help you to be focused brainstorming what is the welfare food is from your unit number three a balanced diet Mineral salts and vitamins are called welfare food. Living things and their environment. Unit number four. We are on book page number 36. Food web. Different food chains are not separate from each other. Consumers often eat more than one kind of food. And so several food chains are com connected to form a food web. For example, study the food web on the right. As you can see, started from the green plants like leaves, grass. It is eaten by a caterpillar, also leaves eaten by a caterpillar. Grass is also eaten by rabbit. Grass is also eaten by grasshopper. Same for grasshopper eaten by blue jay, blue jay eaten by owl. Rabbit is eaten by hawk. Caterpillar is eaten by snake. Snake is eaten by hawk or owl. Adaptation. All living things grow and change. When an animal or plant changes to fit its surroundings, we say it has adapted to its surroundings. The special body parts that a plant or animal develops to adapt to a particular place or living condition are called adaptations. Adaptations in animals. Each animal is fitted or adapted to live in its surroundings or environment. It is adapted to find food. It is protected from heat and cold. It is protected from its enemies. Some animals have special body parts for protection. A tiger has sharp claws and teeth for tearing flesh. A deer has horns for fighting. A tortoise hides in its hard shell. A mountain goat has hooves for climbing rocks. An eagle has a sharp beak and claws for catching mice and rabbits. Page number 38. An echidna has sharp needles. A chameleon changes its color so that it can blend in, it, in with its surroundings. The folded wings of a leaf insects look just like a leaf's. Bird has wings to fly. A fish swims in water with its fins and tail. Bees, wasps, and ants have poisonous stings. Animals have special body parts to find food. The beak of a hummingbird is adapted for taking nectar from deep inside a flower. A pelican has a large beak with a pouch to store fish.
A mosquito's mouth is shaped like a needle to stab the stem of a plant or the skin of an animal. A tiger has strong legs to run after other animals. It uses its strong claws and teeth to catch and eat other animals. A gi the giant anteater uses its strong claws to open the nest of ants and termites. Its long sticky tongue picks up the insects it eats. Animals that live in very cold places, animals that live in very cool places like polar bears, seals, and beetles have thick fur on their bodies. They have a thick layer of fat under their skins, which also keeps them warm. Animals that live in very hot places, that is most animals that live in very hot places like camels, lizards, and snakes, Dress during the day and look for food at night. They can store water in their bodies for a long time. They can close their nostrils to keep out sand. Plants are fitted to live in their surroundings. Plants that grow in very cold places have needle-like leaves. They make seeds inside wounds. Plants that grow in very hot places have thick fleshy stems which can store water. Their leaves are very tiny. They have very deep roots. They have hard waxy coats and thorns for protection. Plants and trees that grow in forests have broad leaves that fall off in winter. Some plants have a sticky juice or a strong smell so that animals may not eat them. Pine trees have needle-like leaves, while a cactus grow in very hot places. Trees work. Trees are cut strong to 2021 unit number four, living things in their environment, and day is Sunday. Remaining questions, that is part D, E, and F. What happens to dead plants and animals in the soil? That plants and animals are broken down by bacteria and fungi in the soil. What are adaptations? The special body parts which an animal or plants has developed to fit in its surrounding is called adaptations. How are animals that live in very cold, cold places adapted to live there? Animals that live in very cold places have thick fur on their bodies and thick layer of fat under their skins. Question number three, it is on your book page number 41. Match the animals to their adaptations. Tiger have sharp claws, uh, sharp claws and teeth. Tortoise has hard shell. Deer has horns. Mountain goat has hooves. While eagle has sharp claws and beak. Porcupine has spines. Elephants lives in herds. Bee. Poisonous sting, giant anteater, long sticky tongue. Why mosquito have needle-like mouth? This work you have to done in book. I hope that everyone has done because it's before the summer break works. So we are just revising all the things. Now it's our trivia time. Dash are animals that eat plants. Yes, herbivores are the animals that eat plants only. So that will be all for today, students. I hope that you enjoy learning. Have a very nice and blessed day. Don't forget to wash your hands after using the gadgets, especially laptops and computers. Have a very nice and blessed day, students. Keep learning. Love is.